Two, speak and listen. A. Read the statements A to E below and discuss. Here are the statements. Do you agree? Is that also what you think? With them, do you agree with them? Is that also your opinion on these things? If yes, this is what you think, then why? No, why not? Give reasons, give causes. Why do you think this way? Using the phrases in the box. Use these phrases to justify your answers. A. There are more advantages, there are more good things to television than disadvantages. This speech bubble can help you. Well, think of all the educational programs that you see on TV. The programs that can teach you, like programs that teach you how to cook, how to speak English, how to do many different things. You can use this and you say, in my opinion, I think there are more advantages to television than disadvantages. You can watch all the educational programs. You can learn many different things. Your partner can say, I disagree. I don't think so. Think of all the low quality programs, the bad programs that we shouldn't watch. And also, when you watch more television, you will communicate less with people. You will not spend much time with your family and friends because you are sitting in front of a TV screen and watching. Plus, not everything on TV is suitable, is good, appropriate for all. Think of children. Not everything we see on TV is good for children. One must think wisely on how to spend his or her time. You didn't spend a lot of time watching TV and uh, missing other activities. B. Television is a cheap form of entertainment. Entertainment like you spend fun time watching TV. Think of all the variety of channels. You have hundreds of TV channels and programs which you can watch for free. You can watch movies, fun shows, good programs for free. C. Some people are influenced, influenced, affected by what they see. Like when they watch the commercials, the TV advertisements. They feel like they need all what they see on these commercials and they go and spend large amounts of money on things that they don't need. And not everything you see on TV is true. Sometimes you see false Facts about uh, nations, countries, people. D. Television keeps people informed. You know what's happening around the world by watching TV. You can watch live events about what's happening in the world. Children become less active because of television. They don't move much. They miss activities because they are sitting in front of a TV, so they are not moving. They can gain weight by being less active. And they spend hours and hours and waste their times. And they can get addicted. When you are addicted to something, you can't stop using it. People can get addicted to TV. They can't turn it off. They are attached to the TV series or the, the programs they watch, and they can't stop watching it. And they spend hours and hours sitting in front of the screen. B. Listen to four people talking about television. These are the four people. Kathy, Mark, John, and Carlos. Match the names with one of the statements A to E above. These are the statements. Who thinks, Kathy, Mark, John, or Carlos, 
Who thinks that uh, there are more good things, more advantages to television than disadvantages? And who thinks that television is a cheap form of entertainment? And so on. There is one extra statement which you do not need to use. We have five statements and we have only four people. One of these statements will not be used. Now, I will play the recording for you. You listen and match. Kathy, I don't understand why people always talk about the disadvantages of television and forget about the advantages. We learn about events that are happening at the moment on the other side of the world. We see live broadcasting, live sports, events and so on. OK, there's also the internet, but not everyone has access, so I don't think we can say that television is useless nowadays. Mark Personally, I believe that parents shouldn't allow their kids to watch any TV at all, or at least let them watch very little. Most of the programmes are of low quality, and there aren't enough educational ones. Watching TV is a waste of time, and it makes children lazy couch potatoes. They just sit around doing nothing when they should be outside playing a sport or something and communicating with other people their age. John My parents say that I watch too much and that I'm addicted, but I disagree. I choose what I watch. Some of my friends turn on the TV and forget to turn it off. I'm not like that. Also, they like watching commercials, which is something I hate. They're all lies and there are too many of them. But they do their job. You won't believe how many products my friends buy because they see them on TV and feel they need them. Carlos I'm a father of four children and I encourage them to go out and play a lot. However, I find TV quite useful sometimes. For instance, it costs our family £80 to have dinner at a restaurant. Now that's too much for us. We just stay in and watch something on TV instead. Not everything shown is suitable for all ages, but there are quite a few game shows or educational programs like documentaries we watch. Were you able to match these people with the statements? If yes, good. If no, try again. Move back to the previous slide, to this slide, and in case if you don't uh, understand the meaning of these statements, and here is, here is the meaning. And then get back here and listen to the recording again, and try matching the people with the statement. If you are still unable to do that, or you want to check your answers, then follow me. Here is the listening transcript. Let's read it together. We begin with Kathy. Kathy says, I don't understand why people always talk about the disadvantages of television and forget they don't talk about the advantages, the good stuff. We learn about events that are happening at the moment, that are happening now, live, on the other side of the world. Countries that are far away from us, we learn about them. We see live broadcasting, live television programs, live sports events, and so on. Okay, there is also the internet, I know, but not everyone has access, not everyone can use the internet. TV is easier, everybody can use the TV. So... I don't think we can say that television is useless nowadays. Television is useful. Mark, personally, as for me, I believe that parents shouldn't allow, fathers and mothers shouldn't let their kids to watch any TV at all. Or at least, the minimum, let them watch very little, like one hour a day. Most of the programs are of low quality, inappropriate, not suitable for children, and there aren't enough educational ones. Well, I agree. On TV, there are very few educational programs, programs that teach you something that you don't know. Most of the programs are waste of time. Watching TV is a waste of time. 
And it makes children lazy couch potatoes. What do we mean by this? Lazy couch potatoes. It means they are inactive. They can become inactive. They just sit around doing nothing when they should be outside playing a sport or something and communicating with other people. They should be outside meeting friends and doing some activities and sports. Communicate with other people their age. John, my parents say that I watch too much and that I am addicted. I can't stop. But I disagree. I don't think I'm addicted to TV. I choose what I watch. Some of my friends turn on the TV and forget to turn it off. But this is not what I do. I'm not like that. Also, they like watching commercials, TV advertisements, which is something I hate. They're all lies. They don't tell the truth in, the, in these commercials. And there are too many of them. There are a lot. But they do their job. They make people buy stuff. You won't believe how many products, how many things my friends buy from the supermarket or, or from the grocery store because they see them on TV and feel they need them. Carlos, I'm a father of four children and I encourage them, I motivate them to go out and play a lot. However, I find TV quite useful sometimes. It can be good. For instance, as an example, it costs our family. Cost is the money you pay. We pay 80 pounds to have dinner at a restaurant. Now that's too much for us. We can't pay that much. 80 pounds? That's almost like a 370 reals or even more. We just stay in and watch something on TV instead. Instead of going to a restaurant, okay, we just stay at home and watch TV. And the family gets together. Not everything shown is suitable for all ages. Not everything is good. Appropriate for all ages. But there are quite a few game shows or educational programs like documentaries we watch. We watch game shows educational programs and documentaries. Now we move back to matching the people with the statements. So Kathy is the one who thought that television keeps people informed. You know what's happening in the other part of the world. Mark is the one who thinks that children become less active because of television. He described children as lazy couch potatoes. John thinks that some people are influenced, affected by what they see, by commercials. They go on and buy products they don't need. Carlos, who is the one who said that television is a cheap form of inter entertainment. He can't go to a restaurant every time and spend 80 pounds on a meal with the family. But instead, he can stay with the family and watch... Uh, a game show, or educational program, or a documentary on TV. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. Goodbye.